to do with the vodka instead is we can disinfect with it. Honestly, it's one of the, you can clean with this. Look. When I was 16, I wish I met you. Because I would have told my mother, what are you doing? I would have said, I'm cleaning, Ma. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you think I'm doing? <laughs> Haven't you watched Leslie, Mo? So now what we're going to do is we're going to make a green cleaner. I wrote a book, and it's called The Joy of Green Cleaning. Don't laugh. The it Joy can, of Green Cleaning? It can be fun. If you take some of the toxins out of it, and we instead, we're going to make it smell really nice. Leslie, I'm thinking you probably should have opened on the cover with saying it can be fun and you can drink. And then people would buy it because they would be like, they'd look for the excuse that I'm thinking. I like, put the recipe in there. Yeah, so. like you tell your spouse, Dave, what are you doing? I'm cleaning. I'm reading Leslie's <laughs> book. It says. It says. It says. All right, so three simple ingredients. Does anybody remember this box? Yeah. That's borax. This is the best stuff. You still can find it out there today. Yeah. It actually, they just changed the box though. It's white. So you're not going to find it looking like this anymore. You may find an old box. But the new box is white. It's got some flowers on it. It's the same old borax that your great grandma used to use. Hopefully it's not in the same box that your great grandmother still had in your cellar. Well, my grandmother What's might have What's the name of it? Oh, it's boron. It's natural boron they, they mine in Death Valley. Same way they used to, it's 1820 something like that, 1890. And I found this because I got right? my great grandmother's laundry recipe. A long time ago, somebody gave me my great grandmother's Bible. And in the Bible were two things. It was her husband's obituary and her laundry soap recipe. And the laundry soap recipe only had four ingredients and one of them was borax. It was a new product back then. All right, so let me mix you up. I'm missing a bowl. Can I use the bowl right there even? How hot do you think that handle was? Oh, here it goes. Pretty warm. All right, so I challenge you. I'm gonna mix this up and I have little sample packs of that you can take too. I'm just seeing what's going on. That's okay. I know, I'm like, that wouldn't be good, would it? You want borax? A little borax in my pizza? <laughs> won't hurt I don't know, you. is borax edible? No, I don't it, know, is it? It won't. Probably a warning label on it. It's, it's gluten free. free. <laughs> Gluten-free, that's true. <laughs> All right, and then we got some salt. I asked him to use the Morton since we're in Chicago, right? I passed the factory, that's pretty yeah. cool. I didn't know that. Morton okay, salt. so we got a cup of borax, a cup of salt. It's not hard. And then I got a cup of baking soda. One to one to one. Real easy recipe. And then I'll show you the secret ingredients. Leslie? Yes, dear. Um. I'm making a mess already, honey. I'll clean it up later. You can go ahead. I'm going to spread this <laughs> on top of my third pizza show while you are. Uh... Okay. Well, all we're going to do, after we've got those three things together, is we're going to add the secret ingredient. This is lemongrass oil. It's really not doing anything other than making it smell good. But it's going to trick you into thinking that it's a cleaner. So it's going to smell like those lemon cleaners. Here, smell. Do I get to drink it? I don't want you to drink okay. this. Okay. We'll put that in your martini later. All right. All right, so we're gonna put like eight or 10 drops in here. So when you take it home, it's gonna smell like a cleaner. But, and then you're gonna find out that when you go to clean your sink, kitchen sink, bathroom sink, you can even use it in your tub, it's gonna clean really well. Alessandro, I'm pretty it? sure there was pits huh? in there. See, you can't smell his food, but you can smell my cleaner. <laughs> I can smell your cleaner, I smell olives, <laughs> all kinds. Of, we gotta get fans next year, you guys are gonna love. Now, what do, we clean, what do I clean that with? What, what, what can I clean with that? With this? With the chocolate one. Well, you can use the vodka. To, it's an ac oh, antibi yeah. antibacterial. Yeah. So you can actually disinfect your countertops with it. So I can just put the squeeze thing on the top like that? That's just like I did. You want... Is it squirting? I'm not going to do it. I'm well, going to drink some it. of it later. <laughs> okay. Okay. Look, this is what I use like this. I not around the flame. It, that's called flaming. We can flame. No, no, we're not going to flame. This fit on there? Not real well, but. Not real well, but it, it working. Let me show. I want to show them, look. Hold on. Yeah, See? it's working. It's on the wrong spray. What do you have, a spray? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you go. You That's can top good. it off. <laughs> Tastes just like Windex. <laughs> there you go again, name dropping. Folks at Windex just had a hiccup. <laughs> mm. That's good. 
All right. All right. One thing, I, can I show you one thing while you keep wiping this thing? Yeah. This is another thing. We did an old fashioned recipe. Now we have some new technology. This is called an e-cloth. And this is microfiber. This is great to clean with, especially stainless steel. Because all those things he was smearing around, I'm just gonna wipe it. And all I did was put water on this. You really wanna see this? Let me move this out of the way. No, that's all right. That I'll just clean up behind him like I do at home. So what did you use to do that? The borax one? No, this is just water. Oh, we're supposed to do this. Will this work? I don't want to do it near the flame. What the flame's doing? off. Okay. Look. Can I lick it? Yeah. <laughs> that cleaning has never been so much fun. <laughs> you folks, I'm going to write a new book. <laughs> With Leslie and Chef Rick, cleaning in the kitchen has never been so much fun. <laughs> But this is microfiber and you can use it with just water. I like it, that. Yeah, it's very nice. Stainless steel. All those people that are putting fingerprints on the stainless steel are not the How ones cleaning on it off. But Wrap you can wipe it really quick. Okay. Works great. Or is your pizza done yet? Almost done. All right, so this is your skoy cloth. Just like a paper towel now. This, they say six weeks. Mine's lasted six months. But can I see it? yeah, it's really cool. It's a paper product. Sham wow, buy one now, get two later. <laughs> A little different. If you watch late night TV, you'll see me doing that stuff. You do sham wow? No, I don't do the sham wow. I do all kitchen stuff, but we could do this one. I, I could. That's we, a let's very call nice. these. We could do an infomercial. Steve, put this on. We should be calling these people. These are very nice. I'll give that back to you now. It's all yours. Very nice. You know what? You got to get used to breaking away from the paper towels. And this is a great way to do it. It dries super quick so that it doesn't get any bacteria in it. You can throw it in the microwave to disinfect it. Three minutes, poof. It's wonderful. Throw it in the wash let it go in the dryer, you can abuse it. But you get used to not pulling the six feet of paper towel out when you have this. So just keep it next to you while you're clean. Can you use it on this stuff Skoy. right down here? It's S, yeah, anything. Yeah, let's try it. Skoy, S-K-O-Y. Will it melt if it gets too hot? Nope, it's a paper product. Oh, look really? At, now look at this, look who's cleaning. Yeah, huh. you put a bottle of vodka in front of me and tell me <laughs> it's a cleaning product. I will clean this whole kitchen long after you're gone. <laughs> All right, ladies, we figured out the formula. Tomorrow you guys come back, Chef Rick will be here. <laughs> Pete will be like, and we're opening, we're clean, clean, greening products. Chef Rick's still here. He's <laughs> cleaned right. the whole kitchen twice. Last one, this too is an e-cloth. This is a blue cloth. Has anybody tried this one yet? Man, look at that thing. Can you see that? It's, it's actually shining it. You know that stuff you buy that polishes it? You know side that like kitchen polish, the ceramic polish? Look at that, this vodka does. does. Do that. What the vodka's doing? What the, no, that no. I can't use vodka. That's supposed to be just water. Well, you can use it. You oh, can't okay. hurt it. And, and if I suck it up, I can wring it out later. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but this one's for glass. Anything that, really shiny. I'm cleaning up for you. No, you don't have to use anything on it. Just wet water. Wipe it. It dries. You don't have to use any paper you know, towels. We'll come in the kitchen later. This is called an e-cloth. Yeah, they're awesome for windows. Just take a bucket of water and dunk it, wring it out, and go. Uh-oh. It now looked a little trouble. full. It, 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 it looked a little full. I don't want to waste it. All right. So this is a skoy cloth. That's what that looks like. They're actually, it's at Howard Importers, if you get a chance to go over oh. there. Harold. Howard. Good catch, Harold. no, Peter. Good Harold try. Harold Importers. They're over there, my two good friends. And then this is the e-cloth. You can take a look at that. Really good. If you have a kitchenware store, they sell like crazy. They really do. What do you think of Leslie's stuff? Pretty cool, huh? I kind of like the idea. Thank you. Thanks very much. I'm kind of liking it. It's a pleasure to be out here cleaning up after him.